<clears throat> Shout out to uh, Kevin Conroy. He died of cancer at 66. He was the voice of Batman. We lost Gallagher. We lost Mr. Conroy. It's how it goes, man. Right now I'm drinking on some Bud Light. Mixed with some watermelon bang. Getting smashed on some watermelon. Smashing some watermelons. Right. Oh, geez. So. Seven weird traits that make men attractive. According to science. This is a video made by Courtney Ryan. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're going to be going over seven weird traits that make men attractive. And this is according to science. I came across this article, and the word weird really caught my eye, and I wondered if it was anything that I tell you guys to do already, or if maybe you do and you don't even realize that you do it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this article is seven weird traits that make men attractive. So it says, if you're a guy and you wonder, and if you're a guy and you wonder, how can I smell better for the ladies? Check out that tactical soap. Link description box below. Coupon code King Cobra. Get 15% off using the affiliate. And the coupon code makes me the cheddar and it makes you smell better. So with the holidays right around the corner, this will make a great stocking stuffer for the, for the man in your life. Yes, it would. attractive keep reading most men lament that they just don't understand what women are looking for in a man after all many physically attractive women are seen dating some pretty weird looking people these days yeah what do uh women look for in a man uh the same things that men look for in women you know someone to be with and respect and love them i used to bitch about my dating life but now i, I could give a fuck you know Dating has just gotten worse since I've been single these last five years. And I'm like, eh, what do you do? It makes waiting patiently that much easier. Like I said, I don't care if Ellen Knight wants to date me. I'm a solid friend of Walt and Angie, regardless of what Ellen thinks of me. And if Ellen says, hey, I'm sick of your fucking ass. I want you to leave me and my family alone. I'll do it. If Ella's truly sick of my ass. Attraction is hard to predict, research shows. Sure, sex appeal is about good looks and emotional connection, but there's also a lot going on under the surface. There is both a physiology and psychology of attraction, explains Tina B. Tassina, PhD, a psychotherapist and the author of The Unofficial Guide to Dating Again. The physiology is what we call chemistry, and it can be very misleading. You can have chemistry with an axe murderer. Okay. Okay, this talks about your eyes. So it says... According to numerous studies, the eyes have it. When compared with an attractive face, voice, or body odor, a large dilated pupil is associated with the most attractiveness in both sexes. That's because when people are aroused, that black circle in the middle of the eye enlarges. Both men and women find this arousal sign attractive, even if only subconsciously. You know, I've had some of you comment that my pupils look really small, and you ask me if I'm on drugs which is just out of left field. I didn't even know you could notice that. Uh, but I have a huge light in front of me, so it makes my pupils really tiny. Just getting that out there, because I've had a lot of people comment that. Um, but it's interesting that they mention that, because I have seen people do these like video studies on TikTok where they will show someone a photo of someone that they like, and their, their pupils get really big, because it shows that you're like really into them. The white of the eye, too, is important in attracting the opposite sex. Research concludes that people with whiter as opposed to redder eyes are seen by others as happier, healthier, and more attractive. Just one more reason to get in bed early and avoid bloodshot eyes. Oh, yeah, and you know what? I use these eye drops called Lumify. I 
Who needs marriage? You're above all that, are you? It's just a piece of paper. That's your argument. My eye drop. My argument is why the fuck does the government charge us taxes to be married? Um, like, that's what it is, dude. If a dude tries to be clingy with a chick, he comes off as clingy and too needy. But if a dude pulls this crap on a chick, you know what I'm saying? She's going to be like, ew. At first, she'll be like, if she hasn't had a dick in a long enough time and she's really desperate, she'll love it. But after a while, she'll get sick of it. Women pull this crap, and if men reject women for the same reasons that they reject men for being too clingy, it's, why won't you love me? I'm a strong and independent. Da, 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 da. She'll sit there and say she's a strong and independent woman, and why don't you love her? Like, babe, you're being too clingy. Just give me some space to breathe. Oh, my God, you don't love me. You want to break up, don't you? My mother was right. All men are the same. Ugh. And if he gets rejected, let's see if guys can get away with pulling that crap. You just can't handle a strong, masculine man. What are you, a lesbian because you rejected me? The dude's going to get fucking slapped across the face for being too aggressive with his flirting. And you want to talk about gender equality? Kiss my fucking ass. Bill Burr said it best. Women don't want equality. They just want, they just want all the good perks. You know? It's the truth. Like women are saying, we, we want to be treated just like men. No, you know, no one gives a shit about men or men's rights. We get kicked in the balls. Nobody stops and goes, it's going to be okay. Walk it off. No, people point and laugh. They're just like, ah. <laughs> hey guys, look, what? Holy shit, Chad got racked in the nuts. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Try that with a woman, see what happens. So Nobody's funny. laughing when a woman gets kicked in the cunt. Oh my god, you're so done. Nobody's laughing. You fucking hit me in my head! I'm a man who walks up to unsuspecting women, you're terrorizing them with shouts of insults and much worse. When they ask him to go away, he does the unthinkable, pepper spraying them right in the face. <laughs> Is this what we're talking about? Is this is everything okay? Oh my god! I never want to see you again.